Hey, welcome back to another best of AI video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can relight your images using AI without any prior photo editing experience. You don't have to use Photoshop. You can use AI with this tool. Let's begin. I'll put a link down below so you can get access, but it's free and you can start playing with it right now. So you go to relight um, by click drop by stability AI. And what you're going to do is you're going to add a new image to the program. In this case, I'm just going to drag an image that I made from mid journey. But of course, if you took a photo on your iPhone or Android, whatever the case, you can upload that image as well and start relighting. So here you see I have my image. And what we're going to do is start with the background tab by clicking on background. And you'll see that there's three different options, original, receive light and transparent. Now, if I untick original, you'll see that the background of that image goes away. I want the background in this case, so I'm just going to keep that. And I'm going to untick receive light because once I untick this, you'll see that the light is now only being applied to the focal point of the image, which in this case is our woman, right? Um, if I were to continue to have receive light tick, you'll see that the background actually gets the light and we don't want that. We just want the focal point of the image to get that light. So I'm going to untick this. The last option is transparent. If you select this, it's going to make the, the main point of the image, right? But then it's going to remove that background and it's going to make that image transparent. But in this case, I don't want that. So I'm just going to untick that. And now I'm going to go to ambient because what I want to do is just slightly change this and you'll see that it changes the color ever so slightly. Um, you can see if I were to go all the way to the right, you'll see that it's super red, but I don't really want that. I just want a nice touch, like something like that looks pretty good because what we're going to do is we're actually going to change the light. So I'm going to light one and you'll see that this is the green light and you can see I can move this light to wherever I want on the image. It's really cool that you can do this, but I don't really like this green. I'm going to change this to like, like a soft blue like this, just to kind of give her some light and just emphasize the nice structure that she has on her left side. You can also change the distance. So if you wanted to really make that super bright, you can do something like that. In this case, I don't really want that. Um, I kind of just want to highlight the left side of her face. And it's my left, by the way. So this is probably her right. But you can also change the radius of that light as well. So you can see I'm playing around with this, um, the distribution of the light. Let's see. I kind of like something like this. And this is the cool thing about AI. AI allows you to just have fun. It allows your mind to wander, your imagination to wander. And art and honestly, anything that you have to do with digital is subjective, right? Some people are not going to like what you do. Other people are going to love it. But the fun is in letting your imagination run wild. So let's continue doing that. Let's go to light number two, which is this blue light here. And I'm just going to make this. Actually, I'm going to keep this light. I'm going to keep this light and I'm just going to maybe change that distance a little bit and just move this to there. And then let's go to light number three, which is going to be this red light. I think the red is a little too harsh. Also, it doesn't really do much for the image in my opinion. So what I'll do is I will just make it like she's in Greece or somewhere in the Middle East. So let's actually give her like some type of tan and maybe we can just spark this up a little bit and kind of change it and then you can see if i go closer it lights more if i go further it kind of lights less so i kind of like that let's see we we'll play around with that okay and we can also add new lights so i'm gonna add another light here and that is way too bright so let's turn that down a little bit and just play around with this color, this color scheme, maybe like a brown kind of continue with this tan situation we're kind of playing around with. I'm going to dim this down just a tad and I'm going to add one more light. It's going to be over here and I think this is going to go. Well, let's just see what it looks like. White, I think it's a little too much. So maybe I'll do, maybe I'll continue this like tan look that I'm going for. And maybe something like that. 
I'm just gonna turn it down just a tad. And I feel like this one could be turned down a tad as well. Because I don't want to do like too much of an edit, but I also want to make sure that it is noticeably different. So I think that's pretty good. What we can do now is we can just see how this looks once it's done, right? Comparative to what we started with and what we ended with. So you can just toggle this on and you can see this is the original image. And then if I toggle this on, you'll see the difference. Um, I just made it a little bit more brown in our case, but again, this is all subjective. You can do multiple versions of this, right? Maybe you wanna see what it looks like like this and play around with a different version after this, right? But that's that's the beauty in this free AI tool world. So go check this tool out. I'll put a link down below. If you have any other suggestions or comments, or if you have any other ideas that you wanna see created, leave a comment down below and I will definitely check it out and see if I can make a video for you. And make sure you give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. Make sure you subscribe and go to bestofai.com. So you can browse and search over 7,000 AI tools just like this one. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.